Now, many of us will always remember that one, that very one teacher that always made a difference in our lives. Do you agree? You have that one special teacher, right? I remember her. And our very first award of the evening is to a Harmony Educator Award, and it's presented to the frontline teacher who has every day-to-day -day interaction with his or her students. The award is in recognition of the exemplary achievements in promoting diversity in both the teacher's school and within the community. Presenting the award tonight is Valerie Ma. We'll have, she is a former elementary school principal of the Toronto District School Board. Here she is. Well, first of all, let me say it's an honor to be here this evening to present the Harmony Educators Award to Sister Pat Carter, all the way from Huron, Huron Superior Catholic District School Board. And I was just thinking as I heard there, as a, as a first year teacher in my classroom, I had a little Japanese boy and his mother came to me and she said, you have no idea what you've done to change his life. He comes home singing because your hair is black and he, for the very first time, he feels different. And so it is with, as a school principal, there are those teachers who go over and beyond what is expected in the classroom. And 22 years ago, as a sister of St. Joseph's, Sister Pat Carter worked with an all-girls school and many of her students were from reserves and they, she came to change their lives. She told me that she saw the change in them, they felt happier, more secure, they had better self-esteem, and what she wasn't saying, it, it was her that helped to do that. And she drew them in through extracurricular clubs and sports. And it's a testimony to hear that, to her, that tonight her two nominators, her superintendent and her family are here to, to honor her and support her. And uh, that's wonderful that they've come to down here. You can see by the bio that she has outreached within the community involving uh, life with large and social justice. And then very recently, she is part of the Vincent de Paul's um, fundraiser, Sleeping on the Streets in a Box, for a recent fundraiser out in the streets of Sault Sault Ste. Marie up north. And she has been a, not only a teacher and drawn in all the students, but she's been a consultant and to all her colleagues and helping them as a faith animator to support them. And so it is truly, truly an honor to present to her this worthy recipient of the Harmony Educator of the Award. So would Sister Pat Carter please come forward to the <laughs> I was told I could say something, but I had to be brief or this hook would come out and take me away. Um, I would just like to acknowledge that I had a grandfather who taught me from a very early age that every person deserves to be treated with respect and with um, compassion. And I also learned as a young sister of St. Joseph uh, a long time ago when I was a young sister of St. Joseph, that we had a sister who, um, in the very in the 50s, uh, made an appointment. Sister Mary Corona made an appointment with the president of Algoma Steel, and she pointed out that um, his hiring practices of the Italian immigrants in Sault Ste. Marie was something that she uh, understood to be not what it could be and uh, she didn't want to be in his shoes when he went to heaven. So um, I learned that, um, you know, everybody has a place uh, in the circle and we need to make sure that everybody has their place. 
And sleeping in a box is nothing compared to walking all the miles that those boys walked. So uh, I'm really happy to uh, share uh, this night with those amazing young people. Thank you.